so welcome dear learners today we have with us professor bil sa director hrdc kumau university nanita he has got a very rich research experience so we would like to have his expert comments with us so professor sa welcome thank you in our course in academic writing Ajay. so we would like to have your expert comment regarding the academic writing with respect to the uh, arts and humanities sir what do you think sir okay uh, first of all i thank you uh, for Welcome, calling me and praising me so much so <laughs> I, i am not <laughs> so much <laughs> academically sound but still yes you raised a very good question uh, because in uh, social sciences in humanities and especially in languages you know uh, academic writing is a difficult area yes due to variety of reason especially uh, because uh, we do not much focus on especially on review of literature referencing uh, methods and methodology many a time uh, in so many Uh, language, especially in Hindi, English, Sanskrit, whatever it may be, and even in social sciences, I am unable to understand why they do not give so much a preference to especially objectives, hypotheses, or research questions. Uh, they they do not try to gel these things which are so important for doing any good academic writing because writing is very simple, you know. For example, I was course quoting to you yesterday also. uh you know the kabir wrote so many good you know couplets you know yes, he sir. was never uh, read any uh, this methodology research or what <laughs> yeah, yeah, say, or academic writing you know yes, for that uh, matter but he was relevant at that time also this time also in future also hmm. uh, that is the magnanimity of his uh, you know thought process so as as this thought process comes how we are going to translate it into the academic writing this is a very very big challenge i am happy that you have uh, uh you are doing one three day this workshop as far as the academic writings are concerned i believe that everyone whosoever is attending over here they will be beneficiary out of that and they will understand the small nitty gritties because in social sciences i have not seen that if we ask them what is the proposal what is the synopsis they they will not be able to give the difference what is the topic what is the title they are not going to what is summary what is abstract so many thing like that this small nitty gritties they do not under, when they do not understand then they are unable to come up to the standard of writing especially academic writing which we are looking for in this 21st century sir uh one thing i would like to ask you that in sciences what we people do we go, if you are evaluating in quality of a paper we go with the impact factor right we right. go with the, the okay this is the side number of citation what about the social sciences and arts and humanities how will you judge the quality of paper there here the quality of people you know if they are really very very innovative and creative and they are able to come up with some a uh, different ideas and notions uh, naturally the quality will go ahead of any anything you know so that is another one crisis though people are doing some uh, uh, you know work like that but in our because your time and again uh, we are focused on academic writing in our academics people are not doing the people who are not in the universities or colleges or in academic area they are doing but we are unable to do so if you go to the at least uh, i i can talk about the indian perspective point of view they are not doing that is again a big question so therefore i believe this uh, type of uh, workshops seminars is required to do so so i would like to uh, make you feel free the expert comments regarding the academy writing you want to give your message for the arts and humanities and the social sciences researcher what should they do to inculcate the academic writing skills what are the good best practices you say i always uh, believe in that uh, first of all they they catch hold of the keywords which are very important if they are doing coming up with any title they should know what keywords and why they are putting that keyword and they should and they must understand what is the qualitative and quantitative difference and how if you want to gel these thing how you can gel for example uh, many a time i have see they do case study but i do not know whether they are doing it as a methodology or as a method so in case study research methodology is little different research method is little uh, different and in a similar way they should understand what is just writing and what is academic writing and especially how the referencing goes you know uh, they 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 
nowadays you know they are not much bothered about the uh, you know citation and all uh, i am much bothered about the uh, this uh, referencing and all we, for, for academic writing i do believe that uh, review of literature and you know the research uh, citation how it will go how the referencing will go these are very very important uh, thing which they, and and especially uh, ultimately manuscript writing or they once they write their uh, you know uh, their manuscript how they are going to write what are the do's and don'ts they should keep in their mind if they will not keep this thing in their mind i i think that uh, uh, their ultimate outcome will not be so good as it is required good sir so uh, finally sir i would like to uh, have your last comments here today rather for research scholars who are starting their career in uh, academic and research right what should be the starting and utmost important point for going into the field of the academic writing because they are starting the academic writing with their thesis so what would be the first uh, priority for them i always believe uh, 21st century is changing like anything you know so i i always uh, rally said you know the if you are unable to take use of advantage of uh, you know the technology and science uh, then you will uh, be at a back seat yes. so you have to take advantage of it and i i am not very <clears throat> uh, you know and and uh, i i say that you you be the victim or the uh, you know the slave of uh, the technology and uh, science but you have to take it advantage if something is suppose you are not able to walk on your feet uh, properly and if there is a stick to hold your uh, you know balance you you must take that uh, you know the stick and precisely if it is scientifically made is more <laughs> good yeah. than all of you <laughs> so uh, technology and science is fantastic thing any impossible thing you can uh, do with that and i will give one example of a science person who is the father of modern science stephen hawkins he was on the right. wheelchair but he was able to do such a fantastic uh, research fantastic research. so thank you sir and we are yes, uh, we are adapting your inputs rather in our courses we are going through the literature management tools and all that the things right. put together so we are very glad we are very uh, excited to have your expert comments so i think these expert comment will help a lot to our learners the faculty members researchers who are enrolled in our course thank you sir sir pleasure is mine pleasure thank you